when I was in Brazil, we visited a faith healer. Had long lines of people with all kinds of diseases. And it made you stop and think. When you treat people at the end of something, in other words, you're treating the effects and not treating the causes, there's no end to things. It's like finding that your boat is filled with water. And so you don't stop to find where the leak is, you just keep bailing out the water. Well, more water is going to come in. Or if there's a fire in your house, you come in and you see the smoke and you just put out the smoke. Don't look for the fire. It's going to keep on creating more and more smoke. The Buddha was right in realizing that if he was going to help people, he should help them at the beginning of the process. In other words, start at the mind. Because the mind is the beginning of action. The intention is the action. If you can get people to act on skillful intentions, then the reasons for illness and the reasons for, for suffering of all kinds will gradually wear out, wear out, wear out. So as we're focusing on the mind right now, we're focusing at the right spot. We can't go back and undo our past actions, but we can make sure that our actions now are skillful. And that we're trying to keep on maintaining that intention. This is why mindfulness is such an important part of the practice, keeping something in mind. In this case, keeping in the mind the, the fact that whatever happens, whether or not you suffer is going to depend on the mind. Manobhubhangamantama, the Buddha said, all phenomena are preceded by the mind. So look into the state of your mind. Make sure that it's good. And then over time that will start taking care of things outside as well. Because you can't, as I said, you can't do much about your past actions, although you can control how you respond to the results of past actions, how you shape them into your present moment experience. If you learn how to do that with skill, then even bad things that have happened in the past don't have to send such a strong, bad reaction in the present. Think of Angulimala, who had killed all those people, and then he became an arahant. And because of the state of his mind was so strong, the karma that would have come from all those murders was reduced to simply that people would throw things at him. He'd come back sometimes with his head bleeding, or sometimes with his robe torn, or his bowl broken. But as the Buddha said, think about what it would have been if he hadn't attained awakening. That shows you the difference that a state of mind can make. So make sure you look after your mind as your top priority. And when you look after the causes, then the results are bound to be good, because you're solving the problem at the right place.